All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up SSH keys on your Raspberry Pi. This means you'll be able to log in from your Mac or your Linux system, or even PC, but that takes a little bit more steps, without typing in your password every single time. So quick disclaimer, if you're using a PC, go ahead and look into how to use PuTTY as an SSH key generator, because I'm not gonna be covering that in this demonstration. However, both Macs and PC have a built-in Unix terminal, which means you can easily create SSH keys and send them over to your Raspberry Pi so you can log in from your computer without ever having to type in your password again. It's also more secure and allows you to do automation. So SSH keys come in pairs, a public key and a private key. Your public key is what you put on a server. It doesn't matter if people see this public key because without literally hundreds of days on a supercomputer, they're not going to be able to figure out what your private key looks like just from your public key. So you basically take your public key and you put it on servers. Then whenever you're logging in over SSH, the server looks at all the public keys that are stored in its files and looks for one that your private key that you sent over unlocks. And if they line up, it knows that the keys are matched and therefore you are authenticated without having to send a password. I use this a ton for automation tasks because you can just send over the keys rather than having to send over the password every single time. It's a really secure way to authenticate for automation. So there are really just two parts to this. First, we're going to generate the public and the private key using terminal. And then we're going to copy the public key over to our Raspberry Pi and so that way the Raspberry Pi will know that we are authenticated when we send over that private key. All right, and so to do this, it's really easy to do. Go ahead and log into your terminal on your Raspberry Pi, Mac, or other Linux machine, and just type ssh-keygen. And then from here, it's all defaults. And so you can just hit enter. And so you can see here, I've already got an SSH key set up, so I'll just overwrite it. And then you're going to want to leave this passphrase empty so that way you don't have to unlock it every time you want to use it. So just hit enter for no passphrase and enter again. And now you can see this random art right here represents my private SSH key. And so you would not want to share this with people, but by the time this video is out, it's going to be overwritten with a new key anyway. And so just that easy, we've generated both a public key and a private key. Now for step two, we're actually gonna copy over the public key to our Raspberry Pi. And there's another command for that. It's just ssh-copy ID. And then you just use your regular ssh login. And so where I would normally type ssh pi at 192.168.1.130, I can just copy over the key by saying ssh-copy ID with that same login, just hit enter. And so now it's saying, yes, we're going to copy this over and we've got to authenticate with our password for the last time. All right, and just like that, we got a success. So let's see if it worked. And just like that, we SSH'd without having to type our password because instead of sending a password, it sent an authenticated key. And that's really all there is to it. You can copy these keys over and even if you'd like to have multiple machines all use the same login, you can copy the private key. Though note, if somebody gets access to your private key, they have access to everything that key unlocks. So be careful. But you can just take that private key and stick it in all of your computers, and then you'll be able to SSH into all of the devices you want with one key. It's a great setup, and that's what I use actually. All right, well that's actually it for this tutorial. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one. Bye.